our way to Mexico. Yep. Yep. Very exciting. Finally. After, um, so our first six months on the road, we went, we left Southern California. We went to Arizona, Utah, Idaho, Washington, Oregon. And then we hit the one and came all the way down the coast of California. Yeah. Um, That's stayed in Carlsbad for a couple of weeks, saw friends, family, took care of some appointments. And Jimmy took care of a lot of things, uh, prepping for this. Yeah, we got the dog's rabies up to date, uh, the truck in the shop just to change transmission fluid and whatnot. Um, yeah, just a lot of prepping. We got our Starlink, got that set up. Uh, I installed an inverter so we could run power from our battery. Yeah, quite a few little uh, tasks we completed. Yeah. And uh, just been prepared for two months down in Baja. Yeah, so we got our Mexican um, car insurance already. Yep. And now we are headed to Calexico where we'll exchange some money, cross the border into Mexicali, and pick up our, um, what are they called, the tourism cards? Yeah, Mexican tourism card, which is like an F and then. So if you're going to be in Mexico for more than five days, you have to have a essentially a tourism card, which is kind of like a visa. And since we're going to be there for two and a half months, um, we got to get one of those. And we're actually on our way to San Felipe because we're so excited because we're meeting a bunch of friends down there and their new baby um and we're staying a few nights at pete's camp where jimmy actually grew up going yeah, yeah every year we went like for i would say like maybe five six years in a row went every year um and then a couple times after that but yeah it's uh it's a, i'm super excited to go back and it's supposed to be much nicer now with all the restaurants redone and um anyways yeah we're looking forward to pete's camp yeah and this is actually the first time we've been out of the country since the pandemic right yeah, i think so yeah, and normally when we go to Mexico, we fly to the, the Yucatan area, so we it's... Have recently. Yeah, we have recently. So it's been a while since we've driven across the border, um, and we're really excited. Well, you know how it goes. We'll take you with us. We'll show you the ride down, and a little bit of San Felipe when we get there. After San Felipe, we don't... Not, we're sure we're going, so you'll <laughs> <laughs> yeah. play That's along too. We, we just kind of go with the flow, and the more we plan, the more we kind of get disappointed when you drive past the town going to your reservation. You know, it's it's nice to have that freedom to choose where you're going to stay. Um, we will have some some options. We will like look at the map and get some options. Right. Look for camps and stuff, but uh, pretty much just kind of play it by ear and see how it goes. update we're in Calexico we're getting gas we have our FFM cards Jimmy's currently exchanging dollars for pesos and the next thing to do is simply cross the border which is right here and there doesn't seem to be a line so we are definitely Baja bound good to go yeah my, my grandpa would say you have a wad that could choke a donkey. But she like, why do you want so much money? No, she had no problem. Inspector? Yeah, the uh, border agent in Mexico was really, really nice. Just kind of peeked a few cabinets with a flashlight. Just made it look. Basically, I think they're looking for like if you're bringing in a bunch of merchandise to sell here, or something along those lines. Um, this is right here in San Felipe. And um, essentially, they didn't even look at our at our passports or our FMM cards. The only thing they were that concerned with was the registration. And he didn't even look at it. No, he, he just wanted to see that we had it. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so we're on our way. Whoop, whoop.
just outside uh, Mexicali and uh, excited to be in Mexico. Um, it was pretty easy getting through the border. Um, yeah, yeah, we're excited uh, to get down to San Felipe. It's about like an hour and a half. Ooh. It's about an hour and a half from uh, where we are. time you were in you did this drive not since we've been together 17 and how old are you now <laughs> 33 Woo. so what is that 15 years 16 years 16 years 16 years yeah so it's been a long time not in my adult life I haven't been back but it feels nostal nostalgic obviously oh, yeah because I've driven down here <laughs> All right, so we're pulling up to the uh, the Federale checkpoint. It's always been here. It looks like it's been upgraded though. And uh, there might be guys here. They might want to look inside, but we're prepared for that. What are you going to some Malibu here? Well, that was just super easy. The guy was um, he really just wanted to look in look in your bag because of your. Yeah, my bag, was, was, my bag was in the front seat and I had all the zippers open, so I think he just looked through. Yeah, and then he hopped in the trailer and looked in the fridge, and that was the only place he looked. They were nice. And they like dogs. So yeah. That helps. Yeah. I, think, I think having dogs while traveling is a huge benefit. After eight hours in the car, we've made it.
we stole someone's razor. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Our friend, we met up with our friends down here in San Felipe, and uh, we we commandeered his razor, and it's been amazing. So much fun. As fun as they look, and uh, they handle everything. So we've been just like hauling ass down the beach, and like 60, uh, 65. Yeah, 65 miles an hour flying down the beach and then through like some crazy terrain at like 35, 40 miles an hour. Um, it's fun. We kind of want one. <laughs> we need a new tow vehicle. <laughs> yeah, we need a bigger tow vehicle, I think. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we're out here at the San Felipe Poker Run. Beats Camp Poker Run. Sitting on the roof of the truck, watching everyone take off. Wild. And we might enter next year. We'll see. <laughs> it's not that serious. It's way no. more fun. No, it's for Good charity. Vibes. It's for charity. wild. <laughs> start of the poker run it's pretty fun and now we're going to go um i guess final place on the track i'm not sure exactly it's all very new to me Chico, don't topo worry. chica it's water, don't worry. <laughs> we're the only ones <laughs>
Just left the bar one last time. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, it's been good. It's been uh, freaking awesome. Now we're gonna go fly the drone, I think. Maybe? Check out the sunset. Check out the sunset. Since we're on the Sea of Cortez, the sunset be sets behind us mm -hmm. and it reflects really beautiful pinks and oranges and purples and blues against the ocean. And um, since the tide is like, what, a quarter mile out? Yeah, about a quarter mile. Yeah. It leaves all these like beautiful, um, colorful pools. Yeah. Packing up, about to head south to Gonzaga Bay, leaving Pete's camp. It's leaving been fun. Pete's camp. It's been super fun. Yeah, first one's here, last one's to go. Yeah, the crowd. The crowd is mostly gone. This was all packed just for for the weekend. Saying goodbye to hookups. Saying goodbye to air conditioning for a little while. <laughs> Goodbye to the San Felipe luxuries. Goodbye to the San Felipe luxuries. <laughs> 